All right, question number 41, let's get right into it. So we have that the equation 24x squared plus 2x equals 15 has two solutions. What is the greater of the two solutions? So um, basically what I want to do here is just get this in a format to where we can use the quadratic formula because this is going to get kind of nasty. So it's going to be 24x squared plus 2x, and I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. So I'm going to get negative 15 equals 0. Now, um, remember that the quadratic formula is going to be negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, the square root of all of that, uh, divided by 2a. So let's go ahead and plug in, plug in Chuck here. So our b value, I'm sorry, it's going to be 2x. Our b value is going to be um, 2, so it's going to become negative 2, plus or minus b squared, which is going to be 4, minus 4 times a, which is 24, and c, which is negative 15. So it's going to be all that in, uh, the, under the square root multiplied by 2 times 24 because that is our a value. All right, so at this point, you can just plug it into your calculator. So let's see, negative 2 plus or minus 4 minus 4 times 24 times negative 15. That's going to give us 1,444. And then we're going to have 2 times 24, which is going to be 48. Now, let's, what is the square root of 1,444? Let's see. I'm actually kind of curious myself. Whoops. All right, so it is 38. So it's going to be negative 2 plus or minus 38 over 48. All right. So now what we have to do is we need to figure out which of these is going to be greater. So if I subtract off a value, is it going to be greater? If I add, is it going to be greater? So it wants the greater of two solutions. So I'm just going to use the, the addition portion of it, okay? Do, do you get what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to do negative 2 plus 38 over 48. And again, this is also divided by 48, okay? Don't forget that. So now what I'm going to get is I'm going to have, let's see, 36 over 48. And that is going to be equivalent to, I'm trying to see if there's anything. Yeah, if you divide both sides by 6, we're going to get 6 over 8. And that is going, if you divide both sides by 2 now, we're going to get 3 over 4. So three-fourths is our answer, so it's going to be answer choice A. And, um, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next